Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It was a big Saturday on FIFA Ultimate Team with the Langley SBC and the market sell-off that is happening. And I want to talk about that and all the market movements that you can expect to see today heading into Sunday on FIFA Ultimate Team. So we'll talk about that, look a bit ahead, and also take a step back and look at what happened yesterday in this game of FIFA. And we're going to start off by taking a look backwards and then look into what could come today. Of course, we got the long-awaited Barcelona center back, French man himself, Langley, 93 rated. They gave him the juice, the juice stats, medium high work rates. Again, a center back with 89 pace, EA Sports, FIFA. Can we please get that plus one pace, get them a 90 pace? 90 is so much better than 89, and I almost feel like the stat guy is slightly trolling us with this 89 pace. Happened on Dive with the Wiz and now Leng Lei. But of course, this is a really good card. Probably you throw a shadow on him? Maybe a, I don't know what you throw on this card, honestly. Um, but this is a card that a lot of people are gonna do late and that was obvious by what happened on the market. We also got a party bag for batch number two. This SBC, where's it at? This SBC finally, finally came out. We've been waiting on this thing since it got released into the code like three days ago. And finally, now we have our party bag Batch 2 SBC, which is by far the best value SBC of the day. 81 uh, squad with 50 chem, and then 82 squad with 40 chemistry. This is very good value. This is like, I was expecting maybe 283 squads for this, which would have been a bit, you know, iffy on the price, but this is a dub, honestly. This is a dub. If you have not done this yet, I would consider waiting, because starting to look ahead, just a, a quick peek of maybe what we could see and what we could be questioning today for content, the 84 plus double upgrade and the 85 to 92 upgrade are going away in 14 hours when I'm recording this, aka Sunday at 6 p.m. UK time. These upgrade SBCs, arguably some of the best two we've ever seen, are going to be going away. So last week, the upgrade SBCs re-upped themselves. And this is the biggest question that I have for Sunday on foot is, are EA going to re-up these for another six days or whatever until batch three comes out? Or are we going to get different upgrades? Are we going to see the return of the 81 plus, the 82 to 88, or whatever SBC? I hope that they re-up these and put in the 81 plus and the 82 to 88. Now, that would make a lot of demand for non-rare golds and rare golds. And that would, that would make that uh, piece of the market pretty interesting. But I would rather have both of those SBCs out. Because again, if we take a look at high-rated SBC fodder, it is insane out here. 82 rated cards are 4K. That is what 83 rated cards go for most of the year when they're super inflated. 83 rated cards are 6 to 7K. 81s are 2K. Literally, any every anything and everything right now in this game is inflated in price if it is a fodder card. If it's a fodder card that people are not using in their teams, you know, 86s aren't that expensive. 85s are pretty expensive still. 87s are all right. 88s are... Hey, some of these high rateds are actually dropping down a decent amount. That's fair play. Fair play to a lot of these. Uh, 94s are in the 70s. 92s are in, in the 50s. So a lot of the highs here fodder is kind of coming down. Um, but a lot of this low rated fodder is going up. Because again, why is that the case? Because people are getting the 85 to 92. They're filling up their clubs with those untradeables. They go and do an 84 or an 85 rated squad. And they end up buying 81s to 84s. even a lot, Mostly 82s and 83s. To finish out those squads and that's why they are so expensive at this time in foot so that's why i'm really hoping for the double 81 plus or the 82 to 88 to come out today um, because that would help these prices go down and because it would supply people's clubs from doing those upgrade sbcs um, and it would just provide for more craftability of all of these sbcs that they keep releasing in fiv ultimate team now i want to go and take a look at the market because yes it is weekly league sell-off time on a sunday and I'm looking at some of these prices right now, and it's kind of getting interesting. It is kind of getting interesting. I think what you're starting to see on some of these team of the season cards is part of the sell-off, as people know that batch three could include team of the season cards, should include team of the season cards. Now, again, let me preface this by saying, are we guaranteed a batch three by EA Sports? I don't think we are. No, we are not guaranteed a batch three. The, only, the, the thing that kind of scares me about a possibility of batch three not coming is this, right? The season ends on Friday. On Friday, the season ends, as you can see up by my face, uh, by the face cam. Season seven ends in five days, 14 hours right there. 
that is also when batch 2 goes out of packs. This promo could technically, based on what we're seeing in game, if they wanted to, they could just cut it cold turkey and end summer heat this week and not do a batch 3. If they do that, then that would be... That would suck. That would honestly suck. I feel like what they're going to do is they're going to release a batch three. They're going to have a new season for probably another like 28 days or something like that to take us just into August. And I think they want to try to carry this game into August with the summer heat promo or at least as close to August as they can. Because if they do another two weeks for batch three, throw the tots cards back in packs, that's going to take us up to August, which in August, of course, is when they're going to start releasing FIFA 21 info. So I feel like what they're going to do is try to keep this game somewhat hype, somewhat enjoyable, as they have been with the arguably best promotion ever in foot history, the Summer Heat promo. Try to keep this rolling until another two weeks, until August. Then they'll start releasing FIFA 21 stuff, and then you might see some of the FIFA 20 Stuff starts to slow down after this promo. Do I think there's footies coming after this? No, I think this is footies because it is exactly, exactly what footies was. We'll talk about that more uh, later this week. But I think we are seeing the effects of the weekend league sell-off right now on this game a bit accentuated because people are expecting a batch three, which I would still expect um, coming on Friday. You're starting to see some of these cards uh, sold off a decent amount because of people... Um, thinking that they're going to come back into packs next week. So if you have team of the season cards, uh, of course, that are out of packs right now, I might take the safe route. And they're already down a little bit. There's possibility that they could go down even more. Like we just looked at Neymar. This guy's 4.3 .3 million coins. He was 4.5 million coins. This guy fluctuates a lot, man. What was he on Friday? He was 4.8. This guy's down 400K. 400,000 coins in one day. Some of these cards are dropping a lot because people are expecting them to come back into packs. And that is a bit scary if you're somebody that owns a TOTS card tradable uh, and the possibility of that card coming back into packs is a bit scary. But I do want to take a look at, again, what kind of market movements that Leng Lei had today. I think we called it with the Ramos and the Varan. Now, these cards have bounced back a little bit, uh, but there was a lot of panic selling on these today because of the Leng Lei SBC. Uh, Ramos was 1.2 million just yesterday and last night. Went down to a million coins flat, bounced back to almost 1.1. He's right now 1.05. And then Varan was actually like 1.55, I think. Now he's down to 1.3. Is that correct? Yeah, 1.55 earlier this morning, dropped down to 1.3, and then down to 1.1 million coins a couple hours after the SBC release. Now he's back up 150K back to 1.3. I would expect this to drop down a little bit more coming out of the weekend. Um, and as we possibly see more people selling off these cards to do because they're doing Leng Lei and also because of these cards coming back into packs supposedly this next weekend. Benzema is still high. Some of these cards are still inflated, right? Uh, De Jong is up. Where's Ter Stegen? Ter Stegen is inflated. If you bought some of those yesterday in like the 210 and under range, that is a W. I would take the coins on those. Uh, and again, this is a Sunday, right? If you want to get a bit risky with it, if you want to bit, get a bit risky with it, you could probably pick up on some very meta cards. I would say stick to La Liga and stick to French team of the season items that are still out of packs for now. There's a possibility that some of those very meta items could get low on Sunday and still pop up into Monday, Tuesday timeframe because of the links around the Leng Lei card. Again, I would watch a guy like Ter Stegen. Um, I would watch Carvajal. I would watch Lala. I would watch um, even as Marquinhos, man. This Marquinhos earlier today was like 120,000 coins. These guys are fluctuating all of the time on the weekends. Yeah, he was 127K, went up to 135, even back down to 127. Now he's back up to 140. So a lot of these guys are fluctuating. This is still a card that a lot of people use because of the PSG links, uh, the Brazilian links especially. Uh, so a lot of the center backs on the market today did get hit. And there was just selling off in, in other areas as well. I, I do want to check some of my other French icon center backs that I mentioned earlier this week. Oh my goodness. 390k for just IE. This guy was 500k last night. That's crazy. What about Blanc? I'm assuming he's under uh, 400k as well. He looks like he is. Yeah, 389. Bang. 390 for Mr. Laurent Blanc Prime, who was again 450,000 coins just a couple days ago. So a lot of these French center backs are going down. Could the icons pop up, Desailly, Blanc, um, maybe Amakalele. Could these guys kind of pop up later 
uh, into this week a little bit as we head on through the week. I think that's a possibility. I like icons, man. Icons at this stage of the game, since we have so many different summer heat cards that are out. All you need, a lot of people do this, is they they sit an icon in the midfield, whether it's a moments Makalele, you know, a center back. Uh, a lot of the midfield and center back icons actually fluctuate around a, a decent amount uh, because people have to link cards somehow. This Maradona's 1.8 mil, man. This guy was selling during the week at 1.9. That's getting interesting. So what I'm going to do today on Sunday is if you're wanting to make some coins, what I would do is uh, just watch the sell off on some of the, the team of the season cards and some of these icons, because it always happens every Sunday, especially at this stage of the game where you have some panic selling on that Sunday and you see these cards just get too low because they're still rare enough that a couple people undercut each other at the same time. And then all of a sudden, bang, you have a situation where these cards have gotten too low and it's flippable, right? So it's kind of tough to read that exactly, but if you want to try to mess around with that and make some coins, you can absolutely do it. Just pick a meta card uh, that is very, very usable, like uh, La Liga Links, because a lot of people are doing the Langley SBC that will be crafting that SBC, and they're going to need links to those cards. So that's still kind of why I like Carva Hall. If, if this guy is in the like low 190s tomorrow, if I see this guy at 190K, maybe even a little bit lower, if we don't get some sort of, of right back SBC, I would get pretty interested in that. If Ter Stegen gets again back down to like 210,000 coins, I would get pretty interested with that as well. As he is 237 at the moment. He was earlier than that today. He was like 210, I think, Sunday or Saturday night actually. So just kind of watch the sell off on some of these Tots cards as they could bounce back up because people are really going to use Ter Stegen again this next week with the Lengley SBC. Now, one thing I do have to mention is this is your last call if you do want to get uh, Vinicius or uh, Machis because the game for these guys, wow, four hours remaining. So you're if you're watching this video and he's still out, if you want to do Darwin, Machis or Vinicius, you got to do him fast because uh, today, Sunday is not when Real Madrid play, but they play on Monday, I believe, right? Today's a big day, though, because it's North London Derby. You, uh, your boys, my boys, it might not be your boys. My boys, Spurs, uh, are playing today. Um, Real Madrid, yeah, Real Madrid play on Monday. This is like the longest wait that we've ever had for a summer showdown SBC. So we do see Real Madrid and Granada on Monday, but these SBCs do expire a little bit beforehand. I don't know why these, these were out so long. Honestly, it's crazy. I don't understand it. But the biggest thing that we're watching for today is the upgrade SBC situation. Could we see another Summer Heat card released as an SBC or an objective? I guess it's possible. Is there anything else expiring today, though? That's kind of my question. I feel like we'd need something else to expire before they would put something else in. The Summer Heat vote should probably come tomorrow. And the only SBCs that are expiring tonight are Machis. And then we still have Wijnaldum and Origi that are out for a couple days. So nothing is really expiring except for the upgrades and Machis. So maybe we get another player today as an SBC. That'd be kind of like a bonus, I guess. I wouldn't expect it. But that is something that we could see on the market today. And of course, if that does happen, that could be something where you are watching uh, the market as well for maybe some extended sell-off in certain areas because of that SBC that comes out and some panic selling. Now, last thing I want to talk about in this video today, we're going to keep it short and sweet for your Saturday, or excuse me, your Sunday, is this fella right here, Zhao Felix. Last night, I made the shout on this guy at like 270, 280,000 coins. He went up to like 315, 320K today. So that was a G freaking G if you got in on that one. Uh, he's back down a little bit now. But again, we've seen this happen twice now. If it's a popular meta card that people like to use in this game, if they do not win the vote, right? The SBC vote. If we have a vote uh, player pick, if they do not win, happened with St. Maximin and now Jao Felix, two votes in a row. If the player that does not win has another special card in the game, even if it is in packs, if it's meta enough, it is. if it is valuable enough and has enough demand, you will see a rebound on that. So this guy went from like 260, 270,000 coins to over 300K. So that was a nice moneymaker as well as the Ter Stegen today. Uh, the gold Ter Stegen was somebody else that I mentioned to you guys. And I haven't checked this guy. What's he doing? What is gold Ter Stegen doing right now on the market? Ooh, he's down. Possibly a little bit of over-investing here, maybe? 45K? Oh, he's under 40. Yo, this actually could be a re-entry point because this card is out of packs. If you see this on the Sunday sell-off, if you see this today on the Sunday sell-off around like 
40k. If, if this guy gets down to 40k, because he's 90 rated, what's the cheapest 90 rated card? Uh, 40k. So if this guy gets down to the lower 40k range, like 40, 41, 42, on the PlayStation and on the Xbox, let me check really quick. On the Xbox, if you see him like in the high 30s, maybe? Yeah, maybe probably about the same range. Like 40,000 coins flat on the Xbox, maybe like 41, 42 uh, on the PlayStation. What I would do is I would start to get pretty interested in this card again. It is out of packs because right now the 92 is in packs for batch number two. And again, a lot of people are going to want to get themselves a Ter Stegen card. And some people still think Gold Ter Stegen is better than the team this season. So that's something that's a bit interesting. So maybe you watch this card as a possible investment rising up into the midweek because I think um, so people got their Lang Lei. Some of the, the mindset around this Lang Lei card is, all right, you know what? This is the last card that I really need. I got my Usman Dembele. I got my Lang Lei. I've got all my other team of the season cards and I'm set. And my I got my Summer Heats. This, this card right here for a lot of people was like a squad finisher. So some people's end game teams might be honestly like set, done, of course, other people's are not, but this was a card that a lot of people were like thinking as a final piece for their squad. Uh, so I feel like people are going to build some teams around that Monday, Tuesday, maybe even into rewards on this week. So just kind of watch some link investments to this rising up quicker during the week this week and especially icons as well. But again, just a short recap at the end of this, this SBC today did drop a, a decent amount of the market, not a crazy amount, right? Fair price, I think, craftable. I would wait and see what comes out for upgrade SBCs uh, today as well. If they re-up the 85 to 92, and if they add the 81 to 82, that could be like, that could be a pretty crazy grind, actually, if you wanted to mess around with some of that. Um, but I would, make, I would wait and see what they do with the upgrade SBCs before doing this, because if they do put out an 81 plus again, or some sort of low rated SBC um, for an upgrade, it'd be a lot easier to craft the 82 and 83 rated squads that are a part of this because uh, they do have high chemistry. And if you could just open some packs for that, that would be a W. But we'll see what happens with the upgrades. We'll see what happens if we get a new SBC. And um, we'll see what happens with the rest of the week in the sell-off boys. Again, I would probably focus on icons and really, really meta team of the seasons. But if you have a lot of team of the seasons that are tradable in your squad, you still might want to take the coins and a decent amount of those because a lot of that market's probably going to fall except for the really meta stuff for most of the week this week. Kind of like what happened with Foot Birthdays, uh, just for a quick example right here. Kind of what happened with Foot Birthdays last week. Before they went into packs right here, you can see the week that before they went into packs, people knew they were coming. 326 for Lacazette and just kind of trickled down, stayed the same in price all week. Uh, it trickled down a little bit, mostly on Xbox, but then they came back into packs. Or actually, no, this he came. they came into packs right uh, here. So... Uh, he started trickling down all week. That's the that's the section of the graph that I want to look at. The week before, the weekend league sell-off was right here, and they just kind of trickled down all week before going into packs. Then they really nosedive. So I would expect to see some a similar similar movement with some of the team of the season cards. Just maybe a steady decline, but they're gonna see a decent hidden price, kind of like that Neymar just today on Sunday with the weekend league sell-off. So watch out for that. Maybe cash out on some cards if you've got them, because I think batch three is gonna come. If it doesn't. Obviously, we're going to see a big bump up in price. We'll talk about that later this week, if applicable. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.